Chip Chantry loves to sit down for a good Mexican meal in his favorite South Philly spot, Los Gallos. Los Gallos is basically authentic Mexican food, and we bring all the, um, uh, the Mexican culinary dishes and the most popular food items from Mexico. Making everything from the scratch, and we've been here for nine years, and we're still doing from the scratch. We always watching how people they enjoy our foods, especially when they living uh, so happy and with the big smile. And I wanted to thank for all our customers who support us for these nine years. Chip, Los Gallos is a neighborhood staple. Tell us why you picked it. Uh, as you can tell, I'm not a fancy gentleman by any stretch, uh, and it's a no-frills place. The food is amazing, and it, there's no pretense to it. it. It feels like you're walking into the middle of a birthday party that you weren't invited to, but they accept you. Uh, so you just walk in, and the food's amazing, uh, but it's no frills at all, and that's, that's why I love it. Do you have a go-to dish? So I was always the taco guy, nice chicken tacos, which are amazing, but I got the uh, Camarones a la Diabla, I think I'm saying that correctly. The, uh, the shrimp uh, with the red sauce was amazing with a little bit of tilapia underneath it, which was uh, incredible. It was a nice surprise. I, that's my new staple. The Kia, you got some guacamole as well. And did that come with chips? That came with chips. Yeah. It has to be. There's a, that's the vehicle that the you guacamole You just use your hands with <laughs> the guacamole there. It's, it's yeah. So they did, bring, they did bring out the guac, but then I uh, asked for the cheese. Chihuahua cheese? I may be saying that wrong, but oh my goodness. It was delicious. Sounds I also excellent. had the, um, the shrimp tacos. I had the shrimp tacos, and I also had uh, chicken and shrimp fajita. It was delicious. I don't like mushrooms, and I ate a mushroom, and it was perfection. So I would eat their mushrooms. It was really good. <laughs> Atsuko, how was your experience? It was really good. Like Chip was saying, it really was like walking into a birthday party or into somebody's family home, and the service staff was really welcoming. Um, there was no wait, and the portions were gigantic, to the point where I eat a lot, and. Like that was no exception, but it was so much that we couldn't finish it. But um, I was introduced to, I think it's called a horachas. Hur I'm not sure. It was almost like a flatbread, just covered in uh, steak and things that you would anticipate on a tostada. But again, it was cooked and sauteed in a way that I hadn't necessarily seen in other Mexican restaurants before. But good. Oh, and the uh, the horchata, perfect, on point. Everybody got a horchata. Oh, really? And I feel like it's a very unique experience at Los Gallos because it's not just like cup of horchata. It apparently comes out in a massive, yeah. like, It's bleak. a giant container. Yeah. I feel like the yeah. three of us could have split one. No. Yeah. Just asked for three no. straws. I wouldn't have wanted <laughs> no, to split no, I one. Yeah. I want my own. Really? <laughs> okay, because it was, it was a lot of it, but it was, which was, it was delicious, but uh, yeah. it, was, it was a big, uh, it was a big, Portion, just like yeah, everything the, else. Yeah, the there. volume is huge. Mm -hmm. It's generous. It's really, really generous. Not really too sweet, and it was like ice cold, and it had just like a little bite of cinnamon to it at the end. So that that like went down really good. It's a really pretty place, and uh, it's very um, family friendly. Yeah. And so it was something that when I when I went, you know, and I saw the aesthetic and how cozy it was in the colors, like he, he said, it was very colorful, very pleasing to the eye. I felt like I wanted to share it with my, my family and my kids. So that's what I did. I went home and got the hubby and the two knuckleheads and brought them back. <laughs> <laughs> Chip, you had enough room for dessert. How was that tres leches cake? It, I was stuffed, but I just felt <laughs> for the sake of science. I would have dessert. It was a, it was it was a sacrifice that I made that I had dessert. Well, we're so grateful for your You're sacrifice. You're Thank welcome. you. I had the tres leches cake. 
that's three milks, I believe. I think I looked it up. I'm yeah. pretty yeah. well versed now, I guess. <laughs> so there's three types of milks. Don't ask me what they are. I don't think chocolate is one of them. But uh, but yeah, and then there was a, a cake inside. And it was very spongy and very soggy in, in the best way possible. It was uh, it was great. It was a nice way. And I did finish all of it, even though I was stuck. Atsuko, what did you think of the service? It was It was remarkable. I mean, they were... They weren't as busy when we first went in, so we got a table immediately, but by the time I turned my head after we'd ordered, the entire place was full. It, it can be busy sometimes, and so, so we can sit back, and it's, it's also a BYOB, so let's not overlook that, which <laughs> I, that's never a problem for me, so we'll bring a bottle of wine or four, and, and we, we show up and we'll just sit back and, and kick back with some wine, so even if they are busy, we just enjoy ourselves there, but they're always so hospitable, which is, which is great, and so friendly, and uh, we, we always get our food really quickly. And it's a great neighborhood, too. There's so much around, and uh, we love going to Frida Cantina, which is right across the street, and of course you have Bomb Bomb Barbecue right down there. So that block right there on Wolf has so much. Sometimes my wife and I will just, we're only a few blocks away, so we'll just walk to that corner and sort of flip a coin and we can always find something good. But well, we Restaurant land, roulette, love it, it. It's a lot of fun, it's a lot of fun. We, <laughs> we live on the edge in South Philly. Atsuko, what did you think of the prices? I thought they were great. Again, it, it struck me at first because um, I wasn't sure what was going to come out. And when the portions came out, I thought, oh my gosh, what a bargain. I mean, in the sense of we had food to take home and we ate more than enough. And the fact that it's also BYOB was just perfect. I mean, it was a great evening. Chip, Los Gallos, is your pick sum it up for us? Uh, it's just a, a no frills place, but a lot of fun. And the, the food is amazing in just a, uh, a very relaxed environment, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a great neighborhood. The key is sum it up for us. It's a very uh, nice, family-oriented restaurant where you could go. You could have a small party there. You could take the family, have friends there, enjoy food, and have a great time. Atsuko, sum up your experience at Los Gallos. It's a neighborhood fun place to go, and BYOB never hurts. <laughs> Try it for yourself at Los Gallos, located at 951 Wolf Street in Philadelphia, 215-551-1245. They're open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, and reservations are accepted. The average tab per person without drinks is $12.